Hello everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to do a cartoon rainbow fox. I thought it'd be really fun to try. Really, really simple this one. I just thought we'd have a bit of fun with it. So all you're going to need is you need your paper and you need it. Portrait would be really cool. I'm going to be using chalk pastels, but you don't need to. You could use pretty much anything, to be honest with you. And I've just realised I've got some Got some fox slippers. <laughs> it's all about the foxes today. So really simple. Get a pencil and you're going to do a shape of a rainbow. So just like a rainbow, a shape. Then you're going to go underneath. Now you're going to get halfway. You can draw the whole thing like an eye or get to about there, float, 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 and then go to there. If you can't do that, just draw the whole eye. I'm not going to because I want to use chalk and it's going to be really tricky to rub out. So I'm just going to do it like that. It just might be a bit easier for me. And then we want to do the two big ears. Two big ears of the, and he said wolf of the fox. And then we're going to go, ah, just like a cartoon fox, this one. It's not going to be a real one. Then touch there. So if you've done the whole of the eye, don't worry, just decide about there in your using your eyes, just to kind of try and try and measure things with your eyes if you can. You're gonna go round. It's like a teardrop, then you join up there. If you don't know where to join, as long as that's quite thin, so don't get it too chunky. And you're just gonna go, Rawr. it needs to be like that's the back of him where his tail is, so make sure. That big's kind of uh, that bit's kind of bigger, so it would go down and then big bit out. Really easy. Next, you're going to do the big hind legs. It's going to go. <laughs> then you're going to go. Be nice to do a nose, but we're going to go from this tip to this tip. I kind of like the idea of not even drawing a mouth, so we're just going to do the nose there. Just the nose there. Quite like that, if I'm honest. Now you could do him sleeping with his eyes closed if you like, but I quite like the idea of doing eyes. So I'm just going to do two little rainbows. I might do eyebrows. Not that you need to add those. And just eyes. They're like cat eyes, really. I might just colour those in, to be fair. I might colour this in as well. <laughs> okay, so there's roughly your shape, you can do it fluffy round there if you like. I might leave it for now, but I like the idea. And then, if you can, just draw there. So continue this line all the way down and you're gonna go, so it's zigzag, zigzag almost. Reminds me of fire. You know that look where it's kind of like, then you're gonna do his legs. So we're gonna just touch here, go down. Touch there, about there, so you go la 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 la, down. He's got two legs, but they're close together. So we could just go, that could be his two legs there, and he's got some paws. But first we want to draw his leg here. So that would come out, and then you'd have just where this ends, that would be a paw. You don't have to do it like that. You could move it along and do the paw there. And we're going to have another paw. So it's got two little paws. I quite like that, quite like that. I would rub out just this little bit if you've got it, just there. Just because it looks more like it belongs to it. Then we're gonna do just little paw bits and then we're gonna keep it super simple for this one. And then just zigzag, zigzag. The fox has a tail. So we're going to touch there and we're going to go out. It's nice to have the tail shaped. I'm going to go around that darker just so you can see it. Oh, <laughs> I've gone outside the lines, but you know where I'm going. And then touch there and you're going to go all the way around and join it up. So as long as you've got like a really fun tail that's almost, it's almost framing the fox this bit's going to be a leg 
uh, little pads, you know, the little pores, but you don't have to worry too much about what it looks like. It's fine as it is. And then, okay. So that is your fox. Now what I thought you could do if you wanted to is you could put a sun, you could do trees, you could do rain, you could do hearts, you could do a sunset, you could do anything you like. But I'm going to keep it kind of simple for this one. Guess what? I'm going to use my chalk pastel. They're relatively, oh, I was going to say they're relatively new. <laughs> oh, I didn't put them back very neat, did I? So what we're going to do is I quite like these bits to be white and do you know what i'm just going to do an orange fox but keep it super simple but the tail is going to be multicolored so i'm gonna color my dark orange by the way there we are can you see it doesn't have to be orange you could do like a blue fox or something so i'm coloring Ooh, i don't think all the leg is oh, we'll just color there because we need some black okay Covered. Now I'm doing this relatively fast, so please bear with me. So pause the video if you're taking longer, because it's okay to take longer, it's perfectly fine. Now, the tail ends normally with black, but I want to do everywhere <laughs> i want to do a multicolor tail so i'm looking at my pastels and i'm thinking orange is very close to red so i'm gonna do red but i want to blend them in so i don't want to go straight to yellow i'm gonna do red and well i'm gonna have to aren't I? <laughs> because it's the rainbow color what can i do red and well let's try it Oh, you've got to be super careful with the yellow. Red and yellow and... Some people sing it differently. Pink and green. Purple. There is a lovely purple there, actually. Let's say purple and blue. Ooh, look at that blue. Now, believe it or not, everything else is black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first blend the orange if you're doing chalk. If you're doing watercolour, you'd put, you'd colour the whole thing and you'd put water over it. If you're using oil pastel, you'd still smudge it in if you can, but if you coloured it really well, you probably don't need to. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I've been eating a bag of crisps. Okay. Now we're going to need black. But before we do the black, we have to wash our hands. I always wipe it on. I've got a new apron. I think I've just wiped it on. Now, you're going to smudge, but you're going to blend the yellow and then you can change your finger, blend the pink, change your finger, blend the red, change your finger, or just wipe because you don't want it to become all one colour. I like his multicoloured tail. Oh! This could be any kind of colour you like. It doesn't have to be red, orange, whatever. It could be any colours you like. I want to outline it in black because it's a cartoon one. So I'm going to get black. Right. Whew. Okay. So I'm going to just colour that in black. And colour this. I'm going to draw around the lines, but you might not want to do that. You just have a bit of fun of what you're doing. So as long as you practice pouring and using the different materials, it doesn't matter if you change it up a bit. Here I like zigzag a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want it too much. And then I'm going to go round. I wouldn't normally, but because it's a cartoon, I like to colour it in and do an outline. Look at his foot's like that. Ah! Getting a bit carried away now with the lines. Now you've got to be 
super careful when you come to the tail. So we don't want to mix up all the colours. Which is what I'm probably going to do by accident. So I've got to be super careful. You could link this animal with Franz Marc, who was a, fam a famous artist who drew amazing animals with lots of bright colours. So it's quite nice to link it up. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting my finger and I'm just drawing over the line. So if you've got anything other than chalk, you don't need to do this. Because this bit's white, we could have gone over it in grey if we wanted to, but I don't feel we need to, to be honest. This just softens the line that I'm going over. So I'm just going over it like that. Because it softens it and it makes it look really cool. And there we go. There is my, oh no, <laughs> there is my multicoloured fox. Do you know it would be really nice to sign it to have a multicolour? I can't actually, there's no room, is there? I might sign it on the tail. There you go. A little bit of a signature. Let's have a go at writing your name at the bottom. And there we go. There's my fox. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.